Eighty-five percent of the people that, that have health care in this country get it through their employer. And I applaud Jim for his concern in himself and being willing to fight to keep health care for his workers. It's, it seems to me one of the things that we've got to, got to deal with in this country is that if you're going to operate in a, a business, uh, health care is just as important as minimum wage or, or social security or some of the other things. If we're going to actually get uh, some kind of uh, uh, some kind of legislation that covers unemployed, yeah, and, I mean, and, and, and if I can add, when you talk about small employers, they're at a big disadvantage because a big employer yeah. can can negotiate uh, you know discounts with for his insured workers. A small employer can't. Mm -hmm. So one of the keys is going to be insurance pools for small employers, and, and that's got to be part of the solution. Yeah, well, that, that, that's vital from a provider perspective because. Even if you get a, a cheaper uh, coverage for a patient, the reimbursement might be so bad that no doctor is willing to take it. So you have three doctors in a town of two million that are willing to take these patients. There's a six to eight month wait to see the doctor. So that economic formula has to fit into the reality of running a practice, which is the majority of healthcare delivery, so that it's reimbursed properly to the physician and the practice and the mid-level practitioners, so that you can offer these services to patients.